Okay, here's our diagram. Now, when we're at point O, the path difference from this speaker and this speaker is nothing. So that's when they are perfectly in phase. Now the person moves to position P and the sound from speaker 1 travels the path length R1 and the sound from speaker 2 travels the path length R2. We're told that this is the first minimum in sound intensity. So what that tells us is that this path length, uh, path difference, R2 minus R1, is equal to half a wavelength. Since one must have travelled half a wavelength further than the other to make them perfectly out of phase to give us our minimum. So now all we need to do to find lambda is work out what R2 is and what R1 is. Okay, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work these things out. So R2, we've got the height here, 1.85 and the length 8. So it's the square root of 8 squared plus 1.85 squared. Taking the square root of that, we end up with 8.21111 meters. R1 is equal to the square root of, in this case we've got the length 8, and the height is equal to 1.15. So it's 8 squared plus 1.15 squared, and that gives us 8.08222 meters. Okay, so R2 minus R1 is lambda over 2 is 8.21111 minus 8.08222. Solving that, we get 0 0.129 meters. So our wavelength is equal to 0 0.2579 meters. And now we we're asked to find the frequency. V is equal to F lambda. So the frequency is equal to V over lambda. We were told V was 343 meters per second. So lambda is 0 0.2579. And that gives us 1330 hertz, which is equal to 1.3 kilohertz to two significant figures, or to three significant figures, 1.33 kilohertz.